According to David Goggins himself, he weighed approximately 300 pounds, and was told that he was too heavy to make it through SEAL training. In less than three months, he returned weighing 190 pounds and made it successfully into the training. And now, we all know what a super high achiever David Goggins is. So, what can help you push your boundary so that you can get up from that couch to become your better, fitter version? Welcome to episode 9. In today's video we will discuss 8 ways to help you beat laziness and achieve more in life. There is no better day. Better start today. Make a to-do list which you can easily do. But you must make it and complete it. Strike off the items once done. Instead of trying to do tough things and fail, start with an easier to-do list. Add one relatively tougher item every fortnight. Power of compounding is everywhere. Some people have a pizza day, some a picnic day. Likewise, what you can do is, designate one day every month on which you will make no excuses. Once you have that one day where you'll make no excuses, you'll own up everything that happens to you. Once you own up, you wouldn't want to get into the same unfavorable situations again and again. So, you can't help but improve. The habit it will form in you will do wonders for you in all areas of your life including your nemesis, your laziness. Snoozing alarms brings a snoozing life. Train yourself to resist the urge to sleep once the alarm is off. The commands you send to your brain is how your brain will perceive your authority. And to avoid your procrastinating mind to take the calls, and introduce delay in doing important things, you need to build a strong authority over it. If I have to do it, I must do it perfectly. Said no entrepreneur ever. Get up, start writing that assignment, start doing that task that you've been contemplating. Start with whatever you know. Eventually you will be better at it. What matters is that you start. Scrolling Instagram posts with people in different poses and dresses, fail, videos on YouTube must be stopped. Why? Because these don't really help you in any way. Instead watching these can bring unwanted feelings. Like feeling not good enough, or being afraid of making mistakes because you may be part of that fail video that you watched. Instead, read biographies. Read book reviews. Contribute to a cause. Watch an inspiring turnaround story. Make this shift today. Imagine there's this door. If this door does open, you stand a chance to be a millionaire, but what if you don't even try opening it? You lose without a chance. So why not give it a try and avoid regrets later? Do it, even if you fail you will know you tried it. Always a better feeling than a regret. Actually, there is never a possibility of working on multiple things in parallel. What you're basically testing is just the ability of how fast you can transfer attention from one task to another. Focus on one small task. Do it. Move to the next. In this way, you will finish the tasks better. In addition to that, you also mitigate the risk of abandoning a task due to the fatigue you get when you constantly keep changing your focus from one thing to another. Let's say you need to finish a book, but it's got 350 plus pages. When you look at that number, you back off. But what if you read just 10 pages every day? Soon you'll complete it. Divide and conquer. Fred Brooks once said, how does a project get to be a year behind schedule? One day at a time. Don't let that one day be today. You deserve better. Don't let the clutches of your laziness get to you. Beat it, starting today. Which of these methods is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Better Start Today for content of your liking. As always, I'll be waiting for your valuable feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching.